in this video I'm going to show you how to replace blades and spindle shafts on a big walk behind mower such as this one. First thing you want to do of course, disconnect both battery cables. Then you want to remove the cover. Then you're going to want to tilt your mower back so you can have access to the blades. Don't worry when you do this, nothing bad's going to happen, nothing's going to leak out, you're going to be fine. Then what I like to do is lay something heavy on the handle so it doesn't flip back over on you when you're working on it. Then when you get under the deck, you want to pay close attention to the position that your blades are in because this is exactly how you want it to be. If you have to take a picture with your phone to make sure you get it done right, that's a good practice. Better than putting them in the wrong way. Alright, then you remove the blade. There's a nut right here on the back. I like to use an impact gun because it's quicker and more fun. Now this is the funky part. I actually welded the spindle shaft to the blades here because I needed to replace them but I didn't have the parts so I just fixed them together. But same principle, I'm going to show you how it all comes out. So normally the blade would have fallen off when you took this nut and washer off so let's pretend these blades are gone. Now you have another nut here on top of the pulley opposite of the shaft so you'll go ahead and pop that off. Alright, then you're going to pull the bolt, the lock washer and that fat washer out and then you have a big thick slide washer here so you're going to slide that guy off and the spindle shaft should push right out. And here's a view from underneath. As you can see, the spindle shaft is coming right out. Again, this is welded to the blade. It's not supposed to be like this. It was just a jury rig or a jimmy rig. Now, before you put your new spindle shaft in, I recommend putting a healthy amount of grease on it like I did here. And just go ahead and slide it right back in and just feed it up through the deck. And as you can see, this kind of has a boxy shape. So just make sure you match that up with the hole and it should slide right through. Then get your big collar washer back on, and you can throw your bolt and washers back on. And just repeat process with the other side. Drop the blade, slide out the spindle shaft, put the new one in, bolt it up tight. Now if you have to take a pulley out when you do this, it's the same principle. You just got to make sure everything lines up correctly when you put it back in, and you'll be fine. Now I mentioned before to take a picture of how your blades went on when you took them off because otherwise that can happen. That's no good. But if that happens, don't worry. CB's to the rescue. Here's what to do. You want to go ahead and take the nut off the end of this pulley. Take this big collar washer off. And you're going to go back under here. As you can see, this blade is facing up and down, so you're going to want this spindle shaft to be facing completely perpendicular to that. So you want to line it up as such. And then what you're going to do on this side, and this may take some time so don't get frustrated, you're going to line up your pulley here to match exactly how your spindle shaft is facing. So once you have that lined up, you can go ahead and push the spindle shaft back through. And then install your bolts and your washers. And now you can see we got everything lined up properly and the blades are not going to hit. Then you can tighten everything down. And you can pop the cover back on, reconnect your battery cables, and you're ready to cut some grass, man. Well, I certainly hope this was helpful for you guys. Biggest thing to remember when you're doing anything like this, go slow, take your time, take pictures if you need to, and don't stress out. It's just blades and spindle shafts, no big deal. By the way, do you guys want these? Should I do a giveaway? Nobody wants these. Thank you for watching.